Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 53 in the Microsoft Visual Basic.net program tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover multi-threading um, and you know what well, I'm not going to be talking about delegates in this tutorial because I'm going to be doing that most probably in the next tutorial in this tutorial I just want to introduce the multi-threading as a concept and um, try and get you guys to understand it how it works because I don't want to get anyone confused um, so I'm not going to show you how to make cross thread calls with delegates in this tutorial and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to show you how multi-threading works and yeah, so let's continue with the tutorial. Okay, so if you don't know what multi-threading is, then if you think about it like, well, say you have a piece of code and it's just to, it makes a request with a forum and that single piece of code is executed on a thread. Now, at one time, with the if you don't use multi-threading, only one piece of code can be executed at a time. So, if you think about it like a railway, where there's a train being representing the code, and the railway represents the thread, and only one train can go on that railway at once. And so the first one goes, then the second one goes, then the third one goes. But what if you had more than one railway? and then trains could go at different times at the same time one could start the next one could start before the other one's finished that's basically what multi-threading is so if you if you um, got an application and you you're executing some code and it's like a quite a chunky bit of code and then you'll notice that your user interface becomes unresponsive that you can't click anything but that's because you are not using multi-threading Alright, so um, in this tutorial, as I've said, we're going to just program some threads manually, and um, I'll just show you how to start the threads, and then, you know, that's just going to be this tutorial. And, um, yeah, so let's continue. So, create a new project and call it multi-threading. And I'm just going to give you an example of how UIs can become unresponsive when you're using um, a bit of code. So um just put a button down there and put a label. And this um way of explaining multi-threading, I found this on a a blog because I was really confused. I didn't know how to explain it. I didn't want I'm gonna make like a huge web request and make it all complicated for you guys. So this um example, it's I don't know what the guy guy's name was, I forgot, but I found this on um a blog so credits to him whoever he is sorry I didn't remember your name but whatever okay so um, what we're going to do is just count this label up from 0 to whatever number I'll just pick a number and you'll, you'll be able to see how your form becomes unresponsive because you can't do anything else when it's running so um, if you put the text for the label to 0 and um, just double click the button and what we need to do first is declare an integer I'm going to declare i as an integer and what we're going to do is create a sub so um, private sub count up and inside the sub all we're going to do is count up from 0 to 10,000 on the actual label so um, do until i equals 10,000 bit of a big number just want to make it like so, so we've got enough time to see that it's unresponsive and then what we're going to do is i equals i plus one and then label one dot text equals i so what this, that's going to do is just and um, we've got to do until loop here it just it's going to execute this code until i equals ten thousand so this is going to be executed ten thousand times on the same thread and we're also going to add something else here and um, this is just going to say this is box just show second piece of code. Okay, now the last thing we need to do is put this sub count up into this button here. So count up. You can also do um, call count up, but just put count up and that will call this sub. So if we debug this and button one. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, um, we won't be able to see the label unless we refresh it. So me dot fresh and now you'll see that is going up right there now if we click this 
um, nothing happens because um, this railway, as I said before, or thread is already in use by this piece of code here, so we can't do anything. We have to wait, we're waiting, and there goes the message box right after that's finished. But what if we want to count this up in the background, um, we'll say, and then we want to message do this message box at the same time as this is still counting up. Well, we can do this using multi-threading. So, um, what we're going to need to do is we need to declare some new threads and new integers. So, um, first of all, I'm going to declare a new integer, i2, as integer, because what we're going to do is create um, two of these counting up um, things right here, so we'll count up two at the same time. So, we'll also add a new label and make this the value of zero too. Okay, and um, let's go back to the code. So we've got our first integer and second integer. Integer. Now we need to create a new sub called sub count up two, and this is going to be the same as this. So do until i two equals ten thousand, because we're using i two now, and then we're going to do i two equals i two plus one, and then label two dot text equals i two, and me dot refresh. We can see the actual label property, the value property. So, um, now we've got our second sub, we can go to button 2, which is here. Um, we'll put count up 2 in here. I'll just show you what happens now. So, um, we've got two subs, we'll do this. And this, it's not working, why is it not working? That's because we haven't got two threads running um, for each sub. So, what we're going to need to do first of all is we're going to declare two new threads um, programmatically, uh, bleh, whatever. Get me um, where's my stuff here? And what we're going to do to declare them is just declare. We're going to call the first one thread as system dot threading dot thread. Now that's all you need to do to declare a thread. And um, we'll declare another one. Thread two as system dot threading dot thread. So now we have two threads declared up here. And um, we have our two integers and we have our two subs. But how do we use these threads? Well, for button one, where it says count up, we're going to replace this with, we'll um, delete that right there. And what we're going to do is put this count up sub into this first thread. So what we need to do is say thread equals new system dot threading dot thread. And the way we assign a sub to a thread is we put in brackets address of. And then the first sub is count up. So what that's that's telling the um, that's a, bleh, that that's telling the application okay um this thread here is new system thing dot thread and it's going to have the value of the address of count up which is this sub. So this sub is now going to execute the oh, sorry this thread is now going to execute the code inside this sub. And we can do the same for this one. Um thread two equals new system dot threading dot thread and in brackets address of and count up two. So now we have our two thread declared here and here, but that's not all we need to do. And um, what we need to do is invoke or sorry start the thread um here. So what we're going to do is thread dot start, that's all you need to start it off. And then for button two, thread two dot start. So let's review what we've got here. We have two integers, i and i2, which are used in the subs. Then we've declared um, thread as a new thread and thread2 as a new thread. And then we've got here a sub called count up, which is going to count from um, 0 to 10,000 and then put the value of the integer on label 1. And we've got the same sub here. And then all we do is when we click button 1, we um, put the value of thread to um, the address of count up and we put the value of thread2 to the address of count up two. Okay, so um, if we try this out now, you'll see that um, I'll just give you a little example of what happens. Um, why isn't it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so if we do this, we're instantly going to get an error saying cross thread operation not valid, control label one accessed from a thread other than the thread it was created on. Now, you might be thinking, well, why is this happening? If I didn't have multi-threading, then this would work perfectly on the sub. Well, this happen happen bleh, happens because we're trying to make a cross-thread call, and we're not allowed to do that. Um, with um, VisualBase.net, you can only modify um, the UI components that were made on the same thread. So if we do it without multi-threading, make a new button, and make another sub, 
then it would work. But since we've created a new thread, we cannot modify that um, UI component. And there's a simple solution to this, um, which is what we're going to do now. But this is, I'm probably going to get a lot of stick for this because everyone's like, oh, this isn't the proper way to code it. What if you do this, you've got an error, it won't work if you do in this instance. Well, this is just because I don't think people are going to be creating very sophisticated applications with this just yet. They're going to be just testing it out. Um, so in the next tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to like delegates and invoking them and stuff. But um, in this t this tutorial, I'm just going to we're just going to use this simple solution. And all we do is me dot oops me dot check for legal cross thread calls equals false. And that's going to say um, okay if we're trying to access a UI component on another thread, just don't check for it and allow it. So whoops. So if we debug this and we start this start this you can see they both started and we can do two things at once and we can also you know close it this is not unresponsive we can move it around and um, so yeah that's basically how to use multi-threading um, that was just a little simple overview to try and introduce the concept to you guys because it might be quite hard to um, grasp at first and yeah so that was just a little short tutorial so anybody who wants to know what delegates are and um, how you can use them to make cross thread calls and um, I'm going to make a tutorial on that next but um, for now that's all it is so thanks for watching the tutorial and um, please subscribe if you have any questions leave a comment um, if you have any questions PM me as well whatever and um, please like the video subscribe and stuff because I'm quite I'm getting quite a lot of subscribers now I'm getting quite excited um, it's starting to look big. So yeah. Oh, and also, um, let me just check how much time I've got left. Yeah, I've got some time. Um, the reason I've been inactive is because I've been like working a lot on my RuneScape clan. So you know, if anyone has a pure um, account on RuneScape and you want to join it, um, just PM me. It's pretty fun. We just go on like PK trips and stuff. Um, I've just been working on the site and stuff. And like um, another thing is. I now finally have my internet in my room. I'm sitting here in my room right now. Um, the problem was that the modem was downstairs, and I didn't want to use wireless because, like, I don't want a wireless connection. I want it wired. So I, we had to get some someone out to like um, drill through the walls and shit and move the cable up to my room. But now it's all sorted. And the reason I wasn't making tutorials as frequently before is because, like. I, my computer used to be downstairs in the main room and because of that everyone was like watching TV on my family and stuff and I couldn't make t tutorials then so I had to wait until like 4am to make them and I was like super tired when I was making them I had to like stay up all night just to make a tutorial for you guys so um, yeah that's why I was like stuttering and stuff but you know it's like 3pm right now I'm making a tutorial at a, a decent time and um, yeah so more tutorials coming subscribe um, if you want to join me in RuneScape Clan, just a um, bit of recruiting on me videos here, and um, then just PM me and I'll tell you about it, whatever. So, um, peace out. Um, yeah, peace.